Do fidget spinners impress girls? Hi guys, it's Wally. Oh, you found me. And welcome to Just Ask Waldo. We got some good questions this week, so let's get started. Okay. Patrick Fegan. Hi Josh, do all dogs bark the same language? Like, does a German dog understand a French dog? Thanks bike. Thanks bike. Studies have shown that dogs actually do bark in their own language. French dog will bark like this. Woof. A German dog will say Wolfen. And an Aussie dog will say Wolf mate. SpongeBob Flobgob. <laughs> Hi Josh. Do fidget spinners impress girls? K, okay, thanks, appreciate it. I don't know. Does that answer your question? Two similar questions have come in. Lachlan Costa. How do I get over my fear of planes? K, okay, thanks, bye. K, okay, thanks, fly. Am I right? <laughs> And Michelle Louise. Michelle Louise. I have a dead set fear of flying. How can I make it more of a fun thing rather than a I'd rather die kind of thing? Okay, thanks, fly. Guys, fear can be a scary thing, sometimes even frightening. There's one way to combat any fear in life. Cuddle a stuffed toy. <laughs> Gosh. I tick this one everywhere I go. Work, hot dates, to the toilet. If your fear happens to be stuffed toys, well, the only answer is Jesus, babe. I love you, okay, thanks, babe. Whose hair is this? Whose hair is this? Who have you been with? Schmatty Schmore. Hi Josh, where do seagulls go at night? Let me think about that for one second. My housemates are gonna think I'm so weird. Danika Kronjake. How do I tell my mum I got a parking ticket on my surprise trip to visit her? Bye girl, bye. Bye girl, bye. Danika, giving bad news to parents is a fine art. There's a simple technique and that's to tell her whilst giving her even worse news. It's the art of distraction. For example, yeah mum, I got a parking ticket and I crashed the car trying to take a Snapchat and I'm pregnant. Yeah, with non-uplets. Like that's nine kids. Apparently it's a world record. Mum, I got a parking ticket and you look a bit fat. <laughs> fat girl. Caleb Hart. Hi, thanks, K. Joshy boy. Which is better, long hair, short hair, or K, thanks, no hair? Yena, yeah, 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 K, thanks, bye. K, thanks. <clears throat> oh. Josh, come on, mate. You're an adult, okay? Okay. Great question, because I've had short hair. In the future, I will have K, thanks, no hair, and I still have my long hair. It's just new in my hair. So having experienced all three options, I would ask the question, why not have both? A mullet will give you the best of both worlds. Business in the front, an 80s rock party at the back. Yeah, nah, yeah, nah, okay, thanks, bye. Is that weird to keep your hair? Kind of weird, hey? It smells good though, because I know that's what you're thinking. Well, that's Just Ask Josh for this week. Leave your questions in the comments below. And if you ever find yourself asking, what do you think I should do to you? Remember, Just Ask Josh. Ba girl, ba. Ba girl. Pardon me, boy. Is that the Chattanooga choo-choo? Yeah. Bye, girl. K-thanks. Bye, girl.